These pork chops are wonderfully marbled like beef and full of taste. I got them from meatandbone.com. I'm going to cook these chops caveman style directly on the hot forward charcoal. This method of cooking is fun and intense, but you have to stay with your food and the fire to manage it and avoid burning your meat. Only use all natural charcoal when going caveman style. Wait until the coals are red hot and move them slightly before putting the meat on. That way, no ash will stick to it. As you see, sometimes coals can get stuck to the meat, but they are easily removed just by brushing them off. As a side, I'm going to make a grilled watermelon salad with baby arugula, jalapenos, goat cheese, mint and balsamic vinegar. Alright guys, this pork chop tomahawk looks absolutely amazing. I have Herman from Meat and Bone with me again. Thanks for coming. Thank Tell you. us, what, are we, what do we have today? We have a pork tomahawk um, from Nyman Ranch. Right. This is a heritage breed cross of Berkshire, Duroc and Chester White. Wow. So we're talking about top of the line. Very on, high on end stuff. Pork. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I've heard like Nyman Ranch before. I, I, I can't really pinpoint it where, but I, I kind of I feel it, like I heard about it's it. It's one of the best farms in the country yeah. regarding uh, different products and meats. 
and uh, yeah. this specific product uh, from our webpage is from Diamond Ranch. Okay, okay. And so this is basically top of the line pork, right? Like way better than what you can get in the supermarket. Definitely, it's it's one of those products that is so good, and yeah. the the, con the quality control is so high that you can actually eat it medium rare, yeah. and you'll still be good. And we're and talking that's about what pork, we cooked it to is, today. I yep. mean. Uh, I think we did like a killer job, like caveman style cook and check this out. I mean, beautiful, like medium rare finish and it's really tender, you know, it, well, it's not like crazy tender, but here you go, like pulls right apart. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. And, Try and, it. and give it a go. against what people believe, it, it's something that you might actually eat medium rare and that's rare for a pork, you know, no. that you can still do without worries at all. I think we cooked this one to 130 degrees. And this one a little bit higher, 135. Still a little bit pink, very juicy. Mm -hmm. It's full of flavor, right? Yeah. Like some people say pork is kind of lacking a bit of flavor. This is crazy. It's uh, one of those products on pork that you can actually see marbling on it. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's fat is flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, and that intermuscular marbling, that just takes it over the edge. All right. We've also done a um, watermelon, like a grilled watermelon salad. Um, try it out. See if you like it. Let's grab a little bit of everything. It's a little spicy, has a bit of jalapenos in it. Mm. Love the kick on it. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, I love that with pork, you know. For me, pork is all about a little bit salty, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. You know, it really kind of takes it over, like over the finish line. The good thing about pork is that you can actually make it taste like you want it. Yeah. So if you if you there's a specific flavor that you like, just rub it with it, and most likely it's gonna taste like it. Yeah. yeah. So why do you guys carry the pork chop kind of like as a tomahawk? It's fun. Um, it is. Um, <laughs> it at the end, you're is, not eating yeah. bone, but uh, it's definitely I eat the fun bone. to, yeah. <laughs> so at the end, it's just fun to watch and uh, fun to cook, and it's one of those cuts that people are gonna be asking and amazed about it. I'll cook it like a caveman and eat it like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll join you. Uh, I, I I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a great presentation, and you know, nowadays people love taking photos of their food, and this is just awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No really napkin nice. needed. <laughs> Finger food. Mm -hmm. No, this is really good stuff. Mm. And do you what? What other things do you carry? You know, what other pork products do you carry from these guys? None. No, not no much Nyman, more. Nyman, nothing. No. No. Mm. Nyman is only this. Yeah. What all, about all? All the meat and bone pork is a heritage breed. Yeah. From different farms. This specifically is from Nyman Ranch. Okay. And this specifically is a bre uh, blend from uh, Duroc, Berkshire, and Chester White. Okay, okay. That's ah, awesome. I really like it. It's really juicy too, you know? I think it's because we didn't overcook it. Yeah. You know, if you cook this to, what, what what's the normal guideline in this, like 145, 160? Yeah, one for, between 145 and 160, mm. but it's still It'll a bit dry different. out. You, no, it, it won't dry out. No? As a fun thing about it is that it, because of the marbling inside, Oh, you, okay, okay. It, it doesn't matter if you overcook it, let's say, or cook it as a, you used to. Yeah. Because not everybody's going to be entitled to eat a medium rare pork. Don't yeah, feel yeah. bad. You can still cook it at a full temperature and it's still going to be soft because of marbling inside. Yeah, okay, okay. And what do you normally recommend as a like good seasoning? I mean, we kind of put a little bit of a blend of salt, garlic, onion powder on it, you know, kind of, you know, nothing too crazy. Yeah. But I, is there something that when, you when, when I When I deal with high quality uh, products, I like using, using just salt. Okay. But uh, that being said, sometimes I like to have fun. So I like garlic, I like uh, yeah. different blends that, that, you know, have fun about it. Okay, okay. Oh, that's awesome. No, I'm, uh, this is pretty amazing and um, we have a lot of meat and bones videos coming up, so don't forget to check in next week. And I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, give us a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next week.